Smoky, smoky, smoky. I'm going to show you how to add smoke to your photos right after the intro. Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm a car photographer from Bahrain. If you'd like to learn all about car photography and Photoshop, then go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. All right, before we start, you need to download a set of brushes for Photoshop. I'll leave a link to Alex's video in the description below. He shows you how to download it and how to install it. All right, well, let's move on. All right, so for this kind of effect, I really recommend that you first go ahead and cut out the car, whether you're using the pen tool or any other tools. I, I use the pen tool and I just cut out the car. It will be easier to place the smoke behind the car and in front of the car to give that like realistic effect. So let me tell you about these two layers quickly. I use the channel mixer to desaturate the overall of the photo and um, I kind of brought the exposure down in this area just to give more attention to the car and the um, you know the brush effect and the smoke effect that we're going to create in a bit and for some reason I uh, instead of using this layer I just duplicated it and I kept it there anyway maybe it was like a backup thing all right let me show you how to use the uh, brushes the smoke brush um, I used for this tutorial the smoke 2 brush as you can see this is the one right here and I went to the brush settings um, I did add a little bit of settings here and there. One is the size jitter. I just wanted to randomly give me uh, different sizes with a minimum diameter. And of course, because smoke is very random, um, I also wanted to play around with the, with the angle um, like so. So always adjust the brush settings to your liking. Then I add a bit of scattering. Um, if you increase that, it gives you just like that scattering uh, effect. Not too much. I just wanted just a little bit and that's it. All right, so I'm going to create a layer below the cutout of the car and I'm going to select yellow for now. And uh, the flow is at 60% and I'm going to explain this in a bit. So I'm going to brush away. Now you wouldn't want that to appear like this because it's going to look fake in the cutout. So try to avoid this. I mean, you can always control with a mask. We'll, we'll fix that in a bit. So I'm going to create a few um, smudges here and there. Now, it's as if the smoke starts behind the car and that's where it, it's really strong. I think 60% is very strong for this, but this is just to show you. But afterwards, I'm going to um, drop the flow down, um, maybe even further than 20, let's say around 15, 70%. And the further away you add a stroke, it's going to be um, not as strong if, if that's the word, like so. Um, I need to create one down here. So let's pull that up around 50, 60%. And I'm going to do that right away. Also, when you cut out the car, don't forget to cut out the windows as well. So you have that nice cool effect. Now I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to select the color blue and I'm going to do this like so, just to blend them in it's a bit too much. Now let's drop the flow with the blue. All right, that's good, that's good. Now I'm going to create another layer in front of the car and I'm going to drop the flow really drastically down. And I'm just going to add a stroke of the brush like so, all right, let's do that again. Like so, and if you want to add a yellow one, just on the same layer, it's going to be like minimal. And we're going to drop the opacity. Let's go back to brushes. I'm going to select a soft brush. And let's drop down the opacity of the front layer first, like so. And I can add 
a mask and brush away these right here. And I'm going to do the same with the layer below it. So I'm going to add a mask. Well, it was more of the yellow and we're going to control that in a bit. There you go. Just make sure it doesn't look fake. I kind of like this effect, so I'm going to keep it. It's all right over here. I think the blue one is good. Let me just, I don't like the smoke right here, so I'm going just to remove it. Not too much, just from off the car. All right, that looks kind of cool. All right, I did this quickly. You might want to do it uh, on your own pace. Uh, let me show you what I've done before. So let me disable these two. And, um, this is the blue layer, and then I added the yellow one. And this was the one on the front. Very simple, straight forward, easy. And of course I added masks to control where the smoke appears or uh, where I want to hide or add. And basically that's it for the smoke. Now let me show you how I added the tail light. I uh, found this photo on the internet, thank you Google. And I just copied the tail light and I transformed it um, on the car. And then I just brushed over the lights with red um, the blending mode is normal. I really just controlled it with opacity just to give it that realism effect. Kind of realism. All right, let's add a camera raw filter. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to filter and camera raw. All right, so now that we are in camera raw filter, I'm just going to add a bit of clarity just to give it that contrast. I'm just gonna keep everything as it is. I might just add a graduated filter and uh, just to darken the area towards, you know, leading to the car. So I'm going to drop the exposure down here just to get it that nice focus to the car. And like so, drop a bit of the blacks and let's click OK. All right, let me give you a bit of context of this photo. This photo was provided by a friend of mine, Oscar, who is Swedish, and that's why I painted with yellow and blue. Um, him and his friends went to GT Polonia and grabbed a few shots. So I thought, all right, what else can I do? Um, and this simple thing added a bit of touch to the photo. So, um, so I used the pen tool just to trace around these areas to select them, to make a selection, anything that you can make a selection with. And I filled it with the these two colors. So I had the blue and then I had the yellow and I set the layer blending mode to overlay. So this is how they look in normal. And if you put these on overlay or even soft light, I kind of like the overlay better. It gives you a really nice effect. And I added a bit of blue in the shadows area and then I completed the photo with a LUT. Um, that's the Kodak 5218 that comes by default, just like um, in Photoshop. And that added a bit of uh, contrast and uh, gave it that nice filmic look. The opacity is set at 20%. You can control that really the way you think is right. I really, I really like minimal effects. And that's pretty much it. All right, YouTube, we've reached the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any questions, please go ahead, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this awesome channel and follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video.